we're out here in Nantucket and we're targeting green bonita and false albacore. Uh, of the two, the tastiest I would definitely say is green bonita. False albacore are edible, uh, but it takes a certain person to really know how to cook it, prepare it right. Uh, we let everything free except for one green bonita, and uh, here we are, we're gonna have it for lunch. Most fish, you start right behind the pectoral fin and make an angle cut from the belly to the head. A lot like a tuna, green bonita will have a bloodline that'll run center on each side. And you can, once you've made this slice, you can look down and find that bloodline or you can even look at where the cutout is for the pectoral fin. And you take your blade and you run it right down that line all the way back to the tail. You can keep steady pressure on the knife because it's pushing up against bone as you're doing that. Once you've made that cut, you can either take the fillet, the top loin or the bottom loin and you can you can turn the blade and cut away uh, or you can take it from the top and take the top loin off as you would a traditional fish which is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to find my knife along the top of this loin and just make a nice cut into the loin. Run the blade along that backbone just to get through the skin. Beautiful. Once you make that cut, you just cut through the bones that are in the middle. And there you have it, the top loin of the green bonita. Beautiful loin, it's whitish meat, it's tender, it's tasty. It's a lot like tuna, even though green bonita are actually a mackerel, it's a lot like tuna meat, so. And then once you've got the top loin off, you can just take your knife and run it down through the belly and take the bottom loin off. There's your bottom loin of the green bonita. Do the same thing on the other side. This one's ready to come off already. Another top one, the green bonita. Alright man, we got our four loins of green bonita, it's time to eat.